Hello everybody, it's Nick Ascombe here from Racing the Planet and welcome to episode number three in my series on how to look after your feet. Prior to this I've talked about uh, prevention of blisters and how to keep your feet comfortable during the race generally. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about blisters themselves. Um, types of blister that you might encounter, what dressings to take with you, what, how to make up your kit and um, then how to apply those dressings to the foot so they stay in place and do their job. There are two types of blisters, the dry blister and the blister with fluid inside. So the dry blister I call more of an abrasion and um, it can be very red raw, it can be bleeding uh, and this is suited any dressing you can put on top of this one um, including the hydrocolloid dressing which is the compede. Compedes have moisture within them and they're actually quite good on healing or helping to heal the abrasion. So don't use those on a blister which has fluid inside. So the second type of blister is the fluid filled blister. And the first thing you have to decide is do I drain the fluid from the blister? Um, the blister will be sterile before you start poking it and draining it. So do remember, so if it's a very small blister, you might consider just putting a dressing on top of that and not draining it to keep it nice and sterile. If it is, however, of a bigger size, um, it doesn't have to be very big for me to want to drain it, but anything with a centimetre sort of diameter or, or even maybe even less than that, um, and, a, and a fair bit of fluid inside, I am gonna want to drain that. I use a scalpel blade, scalpel blade um, because it comes in a pack and I know that that is sterile, but equally you can use a pin, um, use, use a safety pin, um, but do use your alcohol wipe to wipe it clean before you start sticking it into yourself. Um, so put a couple of holes in whichever method, whichever thing you use to do that, and, and then from the other side just ease out the fluid until there isn't any left. I would definitely not be trying to take the actual skin off because that's going to leave a really red raw area. Um, you're not going to uh, enjoy running after on that. So, so keep that piece intact. It will gradually dry up and, and come off by itself. You're going to want to assemble a blister pack for your time in the desert. And the best time to do that is in training so you can test some of the materials that you're going to use out there. Now you can go to Racing the Planet store com and buy the off-the-shelf ready-made pack um, which has got all the basics in and you'll find that completely adequate. Um, I however am a podiatrist I, I bring my own extra pieces which I've tried and tested and, and enjoy using. So I say if you want to buy that pack you can and then you can add little pieces to it and um, change it around or you can, you can start from scratch and assemble your pack um, on things that you've used and, and get along with. So I'm going to take you through my dressing pack and show you exactly how I've assembled one and, and how I would use it. The first thing to say is that I would be taking this, not in this blue container, but in a plastic bag which you can tightly roll up and make small. All these dressings are fairly lightweight. So um, these are also my clinical scissors, so I'd be using a, either a pen knife with some sharp scissors on or a specific pair of dressing scissors, a lightweight pair. Working through the dressings, a good place to start is with the alcohol wipe. Essential to use, um, you take lots of these, you, can you are going to need to clean up any wound before you dress it. Make sure it's clean and then dry before you put the dressing on. I like to take these dressings, which are pre-wrapped sterile dressings. This is Cuter Plus Sterile by Smith & Nephew, but uh, 3M make one called Mepaw, and there are other various make brands out there. They come with a pre-made area, which is the uh, sterile dressing, and they're fixed to tape. So they're very easy out there in the desert to just get out and put on um, easily with little fuss. Um, another pre-made product is by Smith & Nephew, which is, this comes in a big roll and um, again it's got the, the the dressing already in the middle and the tape on the outside so you can put this I like this for for toes you can wrap up a toe like that um, and it stays on fairly well don't pull it too tight because remember you don't want to get um, any any luck at 
loss of blood flow. That brings me on to this one. This is very much an optional piece. As I'm a podiatrist, I've got access to this tubinette. You can get it for sure, but uh, do you, uh, whether you need it or not is a, is a personal thing. Um, so if you've got a toe which has got lots of dressings on or lots of rubbing, uh, you can keep everything in place. If you're finding it difficult and they keep coming off the dressings, you can, you can put one of these over, pull that tight, give it a twist. Uh, this is a bit tricky sometimes. I say sometimes, it's always a bit tricky. So you're twisting it around and then you are pulling it back over. That protects everything and then you put a little bit of tape around here to, to hold it nicely in place. As I said, very much an optional piece. Um, I like to have some just plain dressing. Uh, I picked this up on my travels. I couldn't tell you what it's called. Uh, I use this for padding. Um, it's great around, around a heel. Um, if it's particularly needs a little bit extra padding or you can then just, just put it in half and put it between wrap, wrap toes if you should need to. If you've got really nasty blisters, then this is highly absorbent and offers cushioning. So ni a nice thing to have in the pack. Um, this is my trusty Mefix, super sticky stuff. You can get Hyperfix or lots of other different brands. Cut it to size, make sure you round off the corners and stick it fast. If if you want to get specific on wounds, I always have some melanin in my dressing pack. Um, this is just a plain sterile dressing. So as soon as you open the pack, uh, you'll see that the dressing is there ready to go. I would then cut it to size. Chances are I'm not going to need a piece which is, I think this is five by five centimeters. So I would then be cutting this to size. You can cut squares out or you can cut a long strip. I like to use a long strip sometimes if I'm going between toes and I can wrap it around or just on a spot. But this is fiddly. So you'd then, you'd then cut your piece of sterile dressing, round off the corners, And then when you stick it on, you stick this in the middle, obviously on the underside. However, you end up with something that looks like this. However, this is customizable. You, you, can, you can kind of um, play around with this and, and, and do different sizes and depending on what kind of lesion you have on your foot to uh, what kind of size dressing you have. So once again, I'm a, I keep reminding people that I am a podiatrist and I take all this because I know how to use it and um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a bit precious about which uh, how I dress my feet. So the other th the other thing is is uh, for your for draining blisters. If you get to the point where you feel you need to drain that blister, then I use a scalpel blade. Um, this is my scalpel blade. Um, I know it's sterile because I have opened that pack. Um, so that's the advantage over a pin. But obviously you can use a safety pin or any other type of sharp object really to uh, just to pierce that and drain that blister. Then this is um, pr to prevent blisters, but also I use it within my dressings as well. So this is the zinc oxide tape. So if for instance you put a dressing on the heel, um, it's a prone area to get rubbing. So I would then um, put this zinc oxide, once again you round the corners off and put that over the top to give a more robust um, abrasion sort of free or to, to help with the abrasion in that area. So that's, that's what I would be taking out in the desert with me. And um, as I said, there are dressing packs that you can get pre-made. These are my options, but there are many, many options out there. I like these dressings, as I said, really quick and easy, but they're not suited to every part of the foot. Um, I think they can get away with this area nicely, probably around the big toe, but around the smaller toes, you might find that they're a little bit cumbersome. There's too much dressing to them. You might need cutting down or using a different type of dressing. And um, they're also good around, around the, the side of the foot and the heel. So to apply these very, very easily, I'm doing this with one hand, so I don't know how this is going to quite go. 
put the area of dressing over and the important thing is that we do not get any folds so even with one hand which is uh, a little bit difficult I've managed to get that with fairly fairly well without any um, without any folds in there at all if you do find that you get a fold or you're on an area that needs to um, have a cut in it just run your scissors down an edge um, and then you will you will be able to snip it off or if you find that you get like an like an ear once again you can actually cut that off with the scissors just like that so that you're not going to have any areas that are going to cause you any irritation whilst running if you were looking to use tubinette as a dressing option this is how you would dress a toe big toe um, I've popped the dressing the actual dressing underneath here and taped it down I have then put a layer of tubinette on top and then my dressing tape around the outside to hold down the sides so here's my heel now I often get an area around here that blisters up so let's say for today's purposes that this has got a nasty blister on so how am I going to dress it firstly I would like to have an absorbent dressing on which is stuck down and then maybe some cushioning and then even some protective layer to prevent further friction so my choices today are going to be my sterile dressing which has got a, a pack a dressing already inside for ease so I will initially put that on secondly I will put my absorbent layer on absorbent and protective layer that's a plain dressing but it's not sterile and then I'm going to use my zinc oxide tape so you will want to be prepared get everything laid out and cut to size I have put a little slit in my dressing here so because it's going to go around the contour of the heel and I have shaped both the, the padding and the tape at the corners to prevent us from getting it caught on the sock and riding up the first thing that I want to put on is my sterile dressing making sure that there are no folds we've got this little slit down here so that we can fold everything in be really careful that goes in place lovely no folds at all the second layer I would like a little bit of extra protection so I have made in this material this cushioning sort of dressing material this extra this extra layer here and then I have cut my zinc oxide tape my zinc oxide tape wants to go one go above again I have rounded the corners on here so we don't get any folding now the second one what I really should have done here is put another slit in here so I now have a slit in the bottom which then carefully put one flap down first and then the other So that heel now has a reasonable dressing on 
um, some absor an absorbent and cushioning layer and also a protective layer. So I hope that's given you a little bit of an insight into blisters, um, how to identify them, what you need to take into the desert or on any run to uh, treat these blisters when they occur, if they occur, uh, and then how to, how to dress them. So, so get yourself a kit, assemble yourself a kit, um, try, keep using it, um, dress your feet up, go for a run, see how the dressing survives and learn your own techniques in how to put those dressings on it. They are tricky things, you're dealing with sticky, sticky bits of material which uh, you can get in quite a mess with if you haven't got a technique down. So enjoy your training, enjoy your trial and error with this, these techniques and um, if you've got any further questions please do call me. Uh, my um, address is nick at racingtheplanet.com. I will answer any questions on uh, what I've gone over in these videos or anything else you might have um, questions regarding feet and lower legs. So I will hope to see you soon in the desert.